<sighs> Hello. I have been messing around with this uh, situation for a few minutes, trying to figure out how to make sure you can see me and what I'm doing and not have the glare from the light from the freaking, who knew that making YouTube videos would be so complicated? <sighs> I should have known. Anyway, um, hi, my name is Becca. Becca de Milan, Get Life Energy. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time stopping by, thanks for coming. Please um, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. I am here today to teach you about how to get out of back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, wherever the pain is. I'm, I don't have very much uh, expertise in foot pain, but pretty much everything from the waist up, like hips, lower back, glute, arms, hands, all this stuff, forearms, wrists. Okay, um, one of the things that I have um, been noticing right now um, is that because I haven't gone and gotten a massage in a while and because I can't massage anybody, really, um, pretty soon a lot of people are gonna be in this boat of being hurting because they're sitting around a bunch and um, maybe laying on the couch or, you know, sitting like, you know, all slouched watching TV. So um, just now I uh, was feeling kind of funky, you know, like I'm in a funk, not like funky town, but like feeling like, Ugh, I just I don't feel too great. I'm not, I feel kind of concerned about what I should do and I'm feeling my back's bothering me. Like, honestly, like it's hard to make decisions about anything when you're in pain. And when your neck is bothering you or your back's bothering you or something's bothering you, it's almost like this voice is like, eh. it's like having this annoying person nagging you about something and you're like, God, leave me alone. I'll talk to you later, leave me alone. And that's what it's like to be in back pain is it feels like there's someone going like, I'm in pain, I'm in pain, I'm in pain. And you're like, shut up, I'm trying to do things. But um, one of my uh, goals in life and one of the things I think is part of my purpose here on this planet is to empower people. And what empowerment means, as far as I understand it, is giving someone else the power, giving them power, empowering them to uh, be able to solve their own problems. So rather than me saying, you gotta come see me, and trust me, you do, you gotta come see me one of these days and get a massage from me, it will, it's like no massage you ever had before, I promise. But um, I'm not the only person that can help you. You can help yourself. And I'm gonna show you my favorite tools today that you can use to do self-care at home, uh, back pain, neck pain, body pain therapy for yourself. All right. I, um, oh yeah, I was feeling like I was kind of in a bit of a funk, like my attitude was dragging and I felt, um, irritable and a little just kind of grumpy, I guess, or, um, you know, un unhappy. And I realized my back is bothering me. I've got a weird knot or pinch or something is going on in the middle, in the middle of my upper back on the right hand side, something's going on and it's bothering me. So I realized, why don't I do something about it? Rather than just be like, oh, it hurts, I'm gonna do something about it. And I know that it's muscular because it's not like, um, you know, it's not, number one, you gotta identify what's causing it, uh, your pain. And a lot of the time it's muscular. Every now and then it's bone. Oh, here's what I was gonna say. I know it's not uh, bone. I mean, it could be like something needs to pop, you know, like a bone needs to pop or a rib. I definitely do a lot of this stuff where I'm like pulling on the chair, or like twisting in the bathroom and holding onto the stall. Oh, you just want to be in all my videos now. I see how it is. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Hey, it's all right, baby. He's like, oh, are you making a video? Here, let me come get up in there. Oh. 
So um, have your cat walk on your back and do this. <laughs> I wish. So, um, all right, let me show you the tools. You need some tools. Number one, a good old handy yoga mat um, is always really helpful. And you don't need a yoga mat. You could do this on the floor, on the carpet. Um, if you've got not tender joints, you could do it right on the hardwood floor. But ow, that doesn't sound very comfortable to me. So um, having something cushy to do your stretching on is nice. And um, yoga mats are cool because they have like a, um, excuse me, excuse me. They have a, um, say hi, say hi, say hi. Look at that face. That's my boy, that's my boy. Um, the cool thing about yoga mats is that they have like a grip, a grippiness to them. So that when you, when you're stretching, I'm sure you've seen this pose before. The grippiness makes it so your hands don't slide. So you don't want to be sliding around. So if you're on a carpet, you're probably not going to slide. But if you were on a hard floor and you had socks on, you're going to slide. So you need to think about that. But anyway, any old cheapo yoga mat will do. Yoga mats go from $10 to like $120 nowadays. Go with what works for you. All right, now here's the tools that you need. And uh, I'm like, where's, I don't know if I have a single one, but um, the most complicated tool ever for body work. <gasps> it's been working for, since, since the dawn of massage therapy schools. So well over 20 some years is, all right, I don't have an individual one to show you, but you know what that is? It looks kind of weird, right? Because it's a little stretched out. That's a tennis ball. Tennis ball, tennis ball, two tennis balls. Put them into a sock. Ideally a really fun, colorful sock that happens to be turquoise tiger striped. Boom, you just created a massage therapy tool that will save your freaking life. This thing, you can put it underneath your back. You can put it underneath your glutes. You can roll up and down it. Oh, I gotta finish this video because I'm gonna just roll my freaking back out. Tennis balls in a sock. I actually make these um, and sell them for five bucks if you want one. But you can also just go out and buy some tennis balls. They cost like $3 for the tennis balls and then you gotta have a sock and then tie off the end somehow or another. And I've had this one for quite some time. That's how it's gotten stretched out. But it's kind of cool that it's stretched out because now I can have a wide, a wide thing for upper maybe and like a more narrow to closer to you can just push it how you need you can roll up against it on the wall but on the floor is the best but the thing is it depends on how much pain you're in because if you put it on the floor and lay on top of it you're gonna be like ouch unless you can handle that now next step up so tennis balls in a sock you can probably make that right now especially if you own a dog you might want to wash tennis balls first Next level of intensity is one of these babies. Again, this is just a lacrosse ball, or rather two lacrosse balls, that some company decided to invent as a connected single item that you can buy. Now this thing cost me like 13 or $14. I got it on Amazon, it's called Five Billion Fitness, that's who, um, uh, sells that bad boy. I don't know how much lacrosse balls cost. I've never played lacrosse, but um, boom, this is your next step up. These are harder. Um, the tennis ball has a more, more give and more like squishiness to it. So it's more rubbery, which can feel nice because it's got some give. Now this guy feels almost as hard as a rock. So you put this thing underneath your back or hip or glutes or shoulder or rotator cuff and it's like, ah, like it's intense pressure and it hurts but sometimes it hurts in a good way i'm definitely going to stick this thing up under my back for a minute uh, when i'm done showing you guys this stuff um these guys i'm not super versed in them but they just happen to be in, in my little basket of things because my partner got them online and he put them in the basket with the other balls but we've almost never used these i believe they're for rolling your feet 
like plantar fasciitis, I certainly would not lay on top of that. Oh, that might actually, that might actually feel good. It might like, no, 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 don't, don't lay on top of that one. I was like, maybe it's like a scratching. No, no, I'll use my back scrubber. That just hurts. That just feels like a porcupine stuck in your back. Um, and uh, what else do I have here? I've got some weighted balls. These are super cool. These are three pound weights by Everlast. I've had these for a long time. I think I got, I think I got these like 15, 20 years ago when they came, when they came along with a workout DVD. So just to explain how old these are or how long I've had them, they came with a DVD and nobody even uses DVDs anymore. But you can get these. I'm sure you can get them online. You can probably get them at a sporting goods store, like a sport chalet. I don't even know if there is a sport chalet anymore. Dicks. Where, where do people buy? Where do people buy workout stuff anymore? Uh, yeah. Anyway, places that sell weights um, and uh, sporting equipment will carry these. They're called weighted balls. Apologies. And. It's on silent. Um, I wanted music. Sorry. I'm gonna make another video on a different day about specifically when you have shoulder pain or um, rotator cuff damage because you can do some really awesome things with some really light weights, and you can hold these in your hands like without having to. You know, there's not, it's not like a hand weight where there's any like one section. So you can, um, you can use these weighted balls for things like doing this to strengthen your wrists. Hear all that snap, crackle, pop? That's what happens when you get older. You can do stuff like this to strengthen your rotator cuffs. <sighs> nice little crunch, crunch, crunch. You know, you, you can do, you're basically, you're doing like your calisthenics stuff, like arm circles and range of motion exercises, but you're doing it with a little bit of weight. And I recommend a lot of my clients who work out a lot to do um, shoulder rotation exercises when they have a nasty, messed up shoulder or a, a rotator cuff injury. Um, I just recommend that they do it with like five pound weights if they're like a big strong man, or like two pound weights if they're, uh, someone who's uh, less strong or more petite. These are three pounds. I think they're awesome. I've had them for a long time, as you know, I, I and only recently because I've injured my shoulder do I use them a heck of a lot more often. Oh, what do you want? I thought you were gonna come be in the video now. I thought you were gonna come be in the video. He never knows what he wants, man. In, out, in, out. Um, you wanna go out? Okay. Okay, let me see. Uh, kettlebell, I don't have any other small weights. Oh, 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 I, oh. Okay, the tennis balls and the lacrosse ball, you can also just use a single one individual lacrosse ball. Put that right there in between that, you know, shoulder blade and spine and roll up against the wall on it, lay on the floor on it. I do enjoy the double whammy because you can do it vertical or horizontal and it's just it's really nice to roll this baby up and down your the entire length of your spine all the way from the sacrum all the way up to the to where your neck curves and even if you've ever had whiplash like I have and you need to get those occipitals at the base of the skull and you really want to like get oh did you hear that you want to get these like deep deep it's almost like the back of your head it's into the hair part of your head there's muscles in there called the occipitals and it's basically the lower lower section of the back of your head and when you get whiplash those little babies get sprained and you can lay down on the floor with your ball thingy and stick it underneath the back of your head uh. oh my god so amazing and for all the people that do this shit and they're constantly bending their neck and looking down at their phones and they have terrible posture. You need this. Massage those muscles and then sit the hell up and quit bending over so much with this stupid texting. 
Where's the big daddy? I have one more really cool tool to show you. Okay, well, this guy, this is a cheapo. Um, it's not super, super hard. It's, and it's even really short. They make them like three feet long. The best ones are the dense ones, like that are usually black. Um, I'll put a link in the uh, description below of a website that you can buy these guys on that I found that a while back uh, I was looking for, I want, I had a wellness center and I wanted to teach how to use your foam roller classes. And I wanted to sell the foam rollers and teach people how to use foam rollers because this can be a life changing tool, especially if you're a runner, if you, um, if you do marathons, half marathons, or if you just like to run, or if you do any kind of active sport, like whether it's basketball or any other kind of contact sport that you run around a lot, soccer, when you're doing a lot of running, your IT bands and your glutes and your hamstrings and your quads get super tight. And when those muscles are super tight, you're gonna have beautiful legs, but you're gonna have pain in your back, in your glutes. You're gonna have tension pulling on your pelvis and making your back hurt. And sometimes you get this freaking foam roller out and you just roll out them glutes and dare I tell you, roll out that IT band. Oh, Yeah, you're gonna scream for mama when you do the IT band, but do you wanna be in pain or do you want that freaking IT band to stop hurting? When you, it's awesome for your back too, upper back, mid back, but a lot of the pain that happens in this part of the body, the lower back, comes from the glutes and the hamstrings and the quads and the hip flexors. So you can roll on the foam roller and massage these leg muscles way more efficiently and better than you can with this guy or with this guy because they're just not gonna cover enough surface area. Okay, let me go get the big daddy, my new, my new fun toy. And that's the last thing I'll show you. Pardon me for that uh, interruption. The last toy that I'm gonna show you, the last tool that I'm gonna share with you is called the hypersphere. Now this thing looks like a, what's that thing called when you shot put? <laughs> it looks like a big ass ball that you would throw. But in case you didn't know, This ball, it's really hard. It's even harder than this. This thing has a little bit of give. This thing has no give, but that's what you want. Cause you want this thing, thing, this thing to freaking rattle the crap out of your muscles. They go for about 150 bucks. I finally made the investment um, because one night I was at a buddy's house. He's having a party and he always carries this thing around with him because it's quite a fun uh, conversation starter. And I'm having lower back pain. And ever since I injured my back about five years ago, um, lifting up a heavy ceramic potted philodendron and then subsequently four weeks later, falling on my tailbone on a snowy, icy mountain, um, I kind of messed up my back and my lower back gets fatigued and, and tense faster than it ever used to. I'm better now and I feel good and I don't have back pain on a daily basis. Yay. However, when I get tight, when I'm not getting massage regularly, when I'm stressed, when I've been sitting down a lot because I'm on quarantine, when I'm working on the computer more than moving my body, and even just when I'm doing a lot of body work, but honestly, body work doesn't really hurt my lower back. Body work hurts me more in my uh, shoulders and um, forearms and hands, 
but my lower back hurts when I'm like cleaning and you know like sweeping and like raking and all these beautiful chores that anybody who's ever grown up on a piece of land understands it makes your lower back ache and if you ever have to move and you're like bending over and picking up a lot of bins that'll kill your lower back too so now that i've had that injury i've noticed that if i have one hard day of physical stuff i am like my lower back is like so stiff or like i feel like a ooh, like a twinge you know and it, something's messed up so um my buddy had this vibration ball hypersphere and i said can i use that and i went and got down on the floor just like i would with the tennis ball now this is just one so you've got this only one point of contact rather than the two so it feels different you know you got to go one side or the other you don't want to be on your spine never massage on the bones right next to the bones is great but not on the bones if you're on your spine you'll know but anyway i was like oh let me use that and i was like rubbing my lower back with this vibrating ball thing and I just lay there like, ah, uh, letting this thing, when I get this thing going, if I, if I put it on the floor, it will vibrate my entire house. It has three levels. One of them is called holy shit, but, um, I'm working on my lower back and I'm like rolling it out on this ball and I'm at this party and I can't even enjoy myself because I'm in pain. So I'm super distracted by it. Remember the whole like, I'm in pain, I'm in pain. So the, the, the nagging stepchild wouldn't leave me alone. And I said, I gotta do something about this. So I go and lay on the ball and I roll on the ball. I don't know how long it, it was for, maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes tops. But I'm rolling on the ball and I'm like, oh, wow. So the next day, mind you, I was able to get into all the nooks and crannies that I felt I needed. I was able to spend as much time on this side or this side. It's not like getting a treatment from somebody else. Now, obviously, if you're getting a treatment from somebody else, you should tell them where you want them to work. And, and even like I've, I've, I've gone into a massage therapist before and said, can you please spend 20 minutes on just my neck? So you can always do that. Like, that's really important. Don't expect us to read your mind, massage therapist, that is. Although we are very intuitive, a lot of us, and we can intuit what your body needs, sometimes we will, the massage therapist is gonna be doing, you know, they're like, I have to spend this much time on this body part, I have to spend this much time on this body part, I'm looking at the clock, I'm trying to make sure I don't uh, run out of time. Now, I often run out of time when I massage people. I almost always spend the majority of my time on their back, on their glutes, and on their neck but that's where they need it, right? So, but here's the thing, like if I go get a massage from somebody else and they don't know that I want them to spend 20 minutes on my neck, they're not gonna spend 20 minutes on my neck. They're gonna spend five, 10 minutes. Maybe my neck is at the very end and they don't even notice until the end how tight it is. So I will tell them, I want you to spend extra time on my neck, which means I'm fine with you spending less time on a different part of my body. That's why I love 90 minute massages because I want my feet and my hands and my scalp and I want all that, but I still want 45 minutes on my back and 15 minutes on my neck. Anyway, it's important that you uh, spend time working on the parts of your body that you need it more. Like if you have tight IT bands, you're gonna need to roll out those IT bands for like five or six minutes per side. But keep in mind that even if you just spent 15 minutes working on yourself with one of these tools that is going to make an impact in the pain that you're having in your body right now and that's going to make your day go a hell of a lot better now back to the story where i played with the vibration ball for an uh, for 15 minutes at my friend's party guess what the next day my lower back felt so different it felt like i had had a massage at least on that one part of my body i was so much looser and I really was like, I need to get one of those vibration balls. And so now I have one. I'm gonna get to work on my back because I'm not happy with being in pain. And um, I hope this helps you figure out uh, ways that you can alleviate pain in your own body and enhance the quality of your life. Get more energy for your life. That's what I'm all about. Have a beautiful day and uh, there will be some links in the description to get at least the hypersphere, maybe the lacrosse ball, but you know how it is. Just Google it, hypersphere or lacrosse ball massager. Even just type, a, type in ball massager 
No one sells the tennis ball kind though. And I'd say start off with the tennis ball if you're a beginner here, because it's painful. The more intense you go, the more painful. But um, uh, if you are a client of mine, just ask and I'll hook you up with one of those $5 tennis ball massager things. And then you don't have to go find tennis balls or <laughs> cut up a sock. But anyway, um, here's to you having a beautiful uh, journey uh, out of being in pain.